Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Cloudsy. In this video, we will explore how to install OpenSSL on Windows using the Winget Package Manager. Verifying installation will be our next step. And by the end, you will learn how to create a self-signed certificate. We will also address common errors you may encounter during the installation process. For the first step, make sure your Windows is up to date. Open Windows Terminal or Windows PowerShell with administrative privileges. You can check if you have Winget with the command Winget version. Next, search for OpenSSL to ensure you're installing the desired version. Type the following command Winget search OpenSSL. This command will list the available packages for OpenSSL. To install OpenSSL, use the install command with a specific package ID. Type winget install -e -id shining light openssl After a successful installation, let's verify it by checking the OpenSSL version with this command. OpenSSL version. At this point, you may receive an error message indicating that OpenSSL is not recognized. To resolve this, we need to configure the environment variables for OpenSSL. Execute this command. Set x path double quote percent path percent semicolon c colon backslash program files backslash open ssl dash win64 backslash bin double quote forward slash m. It is important to close and reopen your Windows terminal after this step, or similarly if you are using. Windows PowerShell. For the final step, let's check the OpenSSL version again with OpenSSL version. This time, Windows will display the version of the installed OpenSSL. Now, with OpenSSL installed, let's create a self-signed SSL certificate. In Windows Terminal, use OpenSSL GenRSA-out MyKey.Key2048 to create a private key. This step enables us to generate a self-signed certificate in the next step. Now, using the private key, enter the following command to generate the certificate. OpenSSL REQ-NU-X509 -key my -key -key out my cert pem days 365 Answer some questions about your country, state, organization, and etc. for your certificate. You can skip them by pressing Enter. Now, your certificate is ready to use. But before we conclude, let's verify it to make sure it was created correctly. Type OpenSSL x509-text-noout-in mycert.pem to inspect your self-signed certificate information. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our new videos.